Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate this growing vine using After Effects. All right, first off, this design was made by Iana Brezicki. I'll make sure to put a link in the description if you guys want to check out her work. So the way we're going to do this is pretty simple. We'll just recreate this main stem here on After Effects. We're just going to add a bit more than double of its length. Taper the ends so that it matches the design. I recreated the pointy parts of the vine as well. I'm just gonna hide the layers and we'll take care of it in part four of the tutorial. We're gonna add a trim path here. Reduce the end by 50% and then animate the offset as you like. If you want to be funky with your keyframes, I recommend using Ease Copy for the next part. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty much the bulk of the tutorial. Open up After Effects, create null from path and click on the trace path function. Remove the loop effect and then make sure that the progress from your trace path matches with the offset from your trim path. Next, ease copy your keyframes. If you're not using ease copy, right click on one of your keyframes, go to keyframe velocity, copy the influence here, and then paste it on the corresponding keyframe from your trace path. Okay, once done, you should have a knot that follows the tip of your vine. Okay, so you can open up all your tendrils, duplicate the trace path, go into the progress expression, and after value, add negative 10. Fine tune until it's the right number, and repeat that for every tendril that you have. And then parent your tendril to your knot. Boom, okay, now you should have something like this. Okay, for the shadows and highlights. These textures were made in Photoshop using a brush set to the dissolve mode. Import them onto your timeline. Do the same thing as we did for the tendrils, pair them to the nulls, and click on this transparency button here. And for some final touches, I added a roughened edges on the main stem here. Go to layer styles, and add an inner shadow. For some extra animation, use the point file null function and add a wiggle expression to one or two of the nulls. Congratulations guys, you have a growing vine. Here's the final result, and thanks for watching.